Blues Alive, kijk, en uh, backstage zijn net van het podium Sultans of Slide, Frank Goldwasser, was, Monty Amundsen, Henry Cooper en Boyd Small on drums. Guys, how do you like the audience? It was hot tonight, it was really happening, I thought. What did you think? Well, the warmth, the warmth is killing you, isn't it? What's that? The warmth on stage, on the, on the, the lights. We love it. Make it hotter, more lights, please. <laughs> Sultans of Slide, who came on the idea to um, form the band of you three guys? It's a difficult question to answer. It's kind of uh, Monty and I together in different uh, shapes and uh, forms, right? Well, yes. Frank, Frank had this idea to uh, have this kind of a, a review with uh, various slide players. Uh, it wasn't um, a, a set group of players, just there's so many good players in Portland. And, uh, and we played a gig and the three of us were playing and I, I thought to myself, we should just be a band. Forget all these other slide players. They get their own gig. Actually, Henry was not part of the first gig. We, I tried to get him, but he was not available. So he was not in the, uh, the original incarnation. But he uh, quickly... Oh, he not the first gig at Duff's, he wasn't? It was in my head, anyway. Oh, he was in your head, okay. When you came along, Henry? Uh, well, shortly after, that, I had some prior commitments and uh, some things I had to iron out, you know, before I could... With the law. There were legal <laughs> issues, and uh, Duff's won't let me in the door, so that doesn't help. But other than that... Yeah, but it's um, it's great. I'm glad you're part of this. These, these guys are my old friends from way back, so it's good to be playing with them. Yeah. Is it an Oregon uh, band? Yes, yeah, primarily, yes. Absolutely. I'm uh, I live in, here in Amsterdam now. I live in Amsterdam now, of course, but I go to back to Portland all the time. And last summer we <laughs> got together and recorded this record, so it is actually a Portland thing. I've known uh, Henry since I don't know 1980, something like that. Monty as well, and Frank, you're kind of the new guy on the block. You're only I've only known you for ten years or something. <laughs> years? Yeah, well, a couple of years, <laughs> about a couple of years maybe. It's hard to gauge time. <laughs> but um, well, you all are experienced on stage tonight. You played a gig. How the set list? Who was saying we're going to play that? And this one is going to have the lead on stage because obviously all three of you could have a lead in every song you play. Well, that's something that we, we worked on the set list all together, you know, pretty it's much. Very collective. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We don't always agree. Why? You know, sometimes, uh, you know, you got to work it out on stage a little bit and revise. The artists who have toch samen gevoegd hebben om dat samen een mooie band te maken. We gaan luisteren naar de Sultans of Slide. Thank you very much. Let's kick it off with a little bit of Chicago blues straight from the south side. All you uh, hung dog Taylor, Jimmy Huddle lovers, this is for all of you. Is there any improvising on stage? Is everything is all pretty much set up? A lot of improvising. In fact, sometimes it's way too much, damn it. There's <laughs> <laughs> any future for lead guitar, I think. Uh, no, of course I'm kidding. But yeah, we, uh, I don't know how we do it where, where we don't walk all over each other. It, it's just almost kind of a natural thing. You put your CD out. Is it important for you to have a CD or is it just fun nowadays that you have, get some gigs, you have to have a CD? Yeah, you gotta have a CD. Um, yeah, you gotta have a CD. <laughs> <laughs> it's really important to have a CD to be able to sell off stage, first yeah. of all, because of money and that kind of thing. But also it's a promotional tool. So you can, uh, you know, people can take it home and keep thinking about you. So it's, uh, it's real important to keep Back to the blues, and I, um, I had I spoke to you a couple of minutes earlier about that. Uh, you, you put on your website, when I started to play blues and, and music, the only thing I thought, I have to be good. And if I'm being good, I make some good music, the record companies are coming along, uh, bidding up against me, pay a lot of money, and I'm going to be rich. That isn't so anymore. So you said, fuck them all, I just do what I like to do, is play music. I don't remember saying it exactly like that. <laughs> uh, 
I know that when when uh, we first started looking for record deals, a lot of the the blues labels uh, we were we played too much rock, and then the the rock labels or the pop labels, or whatever, they, we were too bluesy, you know. So yeah, I just said, so well, we, I'm just going to make the music. Do they? So we went into every record store and we got a big black fe black felt marker and wrote rock blues. <laughs> Or blues rock together, and so now it's solved. solved. We have we have a box at the record store for us. Well, I'd merely say that most of your income is live gigs, and not the CD sales anymore with this time in the internet or downloading. True. Well, that's absolutely true. You gotta work for a living. Yeah. Is that a problem? Because it it sounds a little bit like we miss the good days. Wow. The good days. You know, I mean, they've never really been that great for blues players anyway, so uh, unless you're Stevie Ray Vaughan or, uh, you know, Gary Moore, there's no platinum records out there for us anyway. As long as we're making a living and having a good time and doing what we like to do, I don't have a day job, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> what about you, man? Um, I do have a day job, but uh, only when I need it. I mean, I like to keep it simple. We have a good time here. We just like to play the blues in F, man. That's what it's all about. You know? <laughs> he likes F. I'm a G man. <laughs> Guys, how was Europe treating you? So that's so we're wonderful. Well, I, I, these guys have been here a lot. I haven't been here. Boyd and I played with Screaming Jay Hawkins back in '87. That's the last time I was here. So uh, this is great. I mean, it's been what 24 years, and uh, people are great. Audiences are great. Uh, really, time's just flown by. It's been so wonderful. It really has. It really has. Is the Sultans on slide? Is there? Uh, is the one-off project, or can we see? Can we expect more in the future? Yes, I think that's definitely in the works. I mean, I was just telling Monty yesterday, that, or was it this morning, that pretty soon we're going to have to worry about another record. You know, what are we going to be able to come up with this time? You know, so it's definitely, a, you know, a plan to well, do something I have else. A, a little point to make too, as well. We're actually working on a record for Frank right now, a solo record for Frank, over here, in Holland. Uh, we got Gene Taylor on it too, and of course, Monty plays and Henry. But you can't tell anybody that it's the Sultans of Slide. It's actually a Frank record. It's a solo record. Yeah. Right, yeah. But uh, yeah, there is more Sultans coming up uh, soon. Uh, we're, we're in the hotels every night after the shows writing new songs and uh, drinking lots of whiskey and beer. No, oh, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> just him. Just, no, just Monty. <laughs> Thanks, we're gonna wrap it up. Alright. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, Bart was that's the only Dutch influence on the band. But hoe hou jij het vol met die met die vier met die hoe hou jij het vol met die vier uit Oregon? Het is eerder andersom. Nee, dat is gewoon heel leuk. Ik heb het natuurlijk al zo lang. Het is gewoon feest. Elke dag feest, dus uh, ik heb het naar mijn zin. En hun ook, hoop ik. Ja. You enjoy it too. Bart's the best bass man in Holland.